Shalom, brothers and sisters. Grace, mercy, and peace be unto you. From Yahuwah, our Father. And Yahusha, he's the Messiah, the one who carries the burden of Yah. His voice, our high priest, soon coming king. Hear, O Yasharo, Yahuwah, who is our mighty one, he is one. There is no other mighty one in existence, brothers and sisters, than Yahuwah. And Yahusha is his voice. This is Brother Mayaka all coming to you today with another lesson. How to guard the Father's Shabbats, the kingdom calendar explained. Have you ever wondered how to truly understand the Father's Shabbats and how they align with the heavens? Well, today we're going to dive deep into the ancient wisdom of the renewed moon, also known as Hadash, and reveal how it unlocks the kingdom calendar. We'll show you how to calculate the Father's Shabbats using this divine system rooted in scripture. It's not just knowledge. It's a journey back to the ancient ways our ancestors followed. Let's start with Yahezekal chapter 46, verse 1. This verse tells us something extraordinary. Thus saith Yahuwah Alua, The gate of the inner court that looketh toward the east shall be shut the six working days, but on the Shabbat it shall be open, and in the day of the new moon it shall be open. This verse is the key to understanding the Father Shabbats, and it all starts with the renewed moon or Hadash. The gates are open on this special day, indicating a fresh start the first day of the new month. But what happens next? After the gates open on Renew Moon's Day, they close for the next six days. These are our six working days. Think of it as the rhythm of life, where we're called to work, be productive, and focus on our daily tasks. But we're not just keeping track of the week, no. We're following the Father's incorruptible timepiece. For six days, the gates remain shut and we focus on our work, knowing that our Shabbat is coming. Then, on the seventh day of the week, yes, the Shabbat, the gates reopen. But here's what's fascinating. The Shabbat is also the eighth day of the new month. That's right. On the kingdom calendar, the Shabbat aligns perfectly with the eighth day. This is the day the gates open once again. It's a time of rest, reflection, and connection with Yahuwah. After six days of work, the seventh day is a divine appointment with our Creator. It's a day to step away from the busyness and reconnect with Him. Now, let's break down how we can calculate the Father Shabbat using the renewed moon in our kingdom calendar. It's actually quite simple when you understand the count. How does Yahuwah count his time? If you said from evening to evening, you are correct. So, when you spot the renewed moon, the first visible sliver of light in the night sky, this marks day one of the new month. Then count six working days. In the evening of the sixth day, you enter into the seventh day of the week. If you add renewed moon's day, it comes to the eighth day of the new month where you enter into the Shabbat of rest. Following the Father's time doesn't just help us calculate Shabbats. It also connects us back to the ancient ways of our ancestors. We aren't just following the world's calendar, which is Pope Gregory's calendar. No, we are aligning ourselves with the heavens. The renewed moon is our guide, a beautiful reminder that time itself is very sacred. This is not just about numbers or dates. It's about living in harmony with the Father's creation, His divine rhythm. When we observe the Shabbat through the renewed moon, we're repairing the breach, restoring righteousness. We're stepping into His time, a time of peace, order, and holiness. Now that you know how the renewed moon reveals the Father's Shabbats, you can start observing his divine calendar in your own life. It's more than just marking time. It's about returning to the ancient paths, living in sync with the Father's will. 
Imagine the peace and clarity that comes with that. Thank you for joining us on this journey of discovery. If you're ready to learn more about the kingdom calendar and how to align your life with the Father's time, make sure to like this video, share it with others, and subscribe to Yahoo is Remnant for more insights. Let's walk this path together. Halal Yahuwah.